Hello everyone, welcome to episode 3 of Farm Diaries, the legal drug lords. I'm Dr. Aze, a hospital pharmacist, and today with my colleague Dr. Ameton, who happens to be a specialist pharmacist, we will dedicate to you about our roles and responsibilities in the hospital. Why are you called doctor if you're a pharmacist? Oh, that? It's because I read Doctor of Pharmacy in school, which is a professional doctorate degree program. It was introduced to equip us to perform some clinical duties in addition to the other vital roles of a hospital pharmacist, which I will shortly educate you on. A lot of us think the hospital pharmacist only waits on the physician to prescribe the medications for them to dispense. Certainly not. Even robots could do that. Before I serve prescriptions, I review them for medication errors and ensure the prescribed medicines are appropriate and safe for the patient. I look out for possible drug-drug interactions and intervene if necessary. I counsel patients on how to take their medications and also tell them about their side effects of their prescribed medication. For example, I counsel patients on certain drug and food interactions such as why flagell shouldn't be taken with alcohol. As my profession's name sounds, farm assists. I work together with other health professionals including nurses, doctors and laboratory technicians to ensure the well-being and safety of patients, giving prompt advice to them in their choice and combination of therapy. I provide more information on drugs when asked by patients or members of the healthcare team. As the custodian of the medicines, I am responsible for the procurement and if need be formulation of medicines. With the help of the heaven sent pharmacy technicians, I manage the stores. All losses to expiry are on me. In recent times, hospital pharmacy practice has become patient-centered. That is, treating the patient as a whole and not just treating the condition in isolation, like having a shirt tailored to fit only you. How different are you from Dr. Azi? The hospital pharmacist can be seen as a general practitioner in the sense that he or she has a general knowledge in all aspects of practice. A specialist pharmacist, as he or she is also a hospital pharmacist, has gone an extra mile to be trained in a specific field of practice. This way, the pharmacist has a better appreciation of the patient's condition and offers the best pharmaceutical care. As a specialist pharmacist in oncology, my work is centered around chemotherapy for cancer patients. Also find me on words suggesting optimal therapy will be for improving the quality and safety of chemotherapy cocktails by monitoring dosing and administration. Hospital pharmacists can specialize in other fields such as cardiology, pediatrics, nephrology, neurology and many other areas. This is a lot of information. Exactly why our viewers may need to rewatch this episode. Don't forget to drop your questions in the comment section if you have any.